All right. So today is November 3rd, 2020. It's at the end of the year of this crazy year. And today we are manifesting momentum. We will be um, sharing our energy today in this room with so much gratitude, good vibes, and trust in knowing that the universe always has our back. And um, yeah, so manifesting momentum, which is a lot of energy, okay? Um, momentum is not just the energy that's present. It is also using the energy from our past. So remember that when you want to create momentum, when you want to manifest momentum in anything, there has, there, it requires some work beforehand in order to create what's called momentum. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a pause from our life. We're going to take a pause from this running around and we're going to put our pens down. We're going to put our phones down and we're going to do what I call a ground and center. Okay, so if this is your first call with me, or if this is your 10th or 20th, um, this is how it works. You are going to be sitting still, okay, sitting in a seat or the floor or the bed or somewhere. And you're going to lean, all of us together, we're going to lean to one side. You're going to take your hand and you're going to scoop open your thigh, thigh skin, butt skin, whatever it is. Go to the other side, open up the other side. and allow yourself, allow your being, your physical being to be centered, to be grounded, and to see yourself in physical alignment. So I'll give you all a moment to get settled into this space, this new aligned space. Um, and it is from this position that we can manifest more quickly, more easily, and more powerfully. Okay. So when you are feeling grounded, when you are feeling centered, when you are realizing that you are the one that is present, the one that is here, and the one that is the one to make those changes and to manifest. Go ahead and close your eyes, and I will bring you through a short, about two-minute guided meditation visualization here for calling in the momentum that we all seek. So again, go ahead and close your eyes, and together we will take three deep breaths as a group. So in through the nose, and out the mouth. Breath number two, in through the nose, and out the mouth. Turning all of your energies inward to you. Breath number three. Fill yourself up with light. Inhale. And hold at the top. And slowly release out the mouth. Keeping your eyes closed here as you continue turning your attention inward to yourself. Inward. Inward. There is nothing else that matters in this moment other than you bringing your energy, your focus, and your attention inward. Feel how safe this feels. Notice how free your energy becomes. And notice how much care and attention you are giving yourself in this moment. This might be new for you, or this might be a practice you have already taken on as your own. Either way, the important thing now is to know that you are putting yourself first in this moment. Turn it inwards, bring your energy in. And breathe into that just for a few seconds. Allow your power to settle here within you. Allowing your body to continue breathing itself your body breathing itself here.
And in this moment, give yourself a quick thank you for taking this time out of your busy week to sit <laughs> and breathe with us here. Okay, perfect. Feeling ready, feeling safe, feeling supported, not only by your chair in the physical, but emotionally and spiritually and energetically by all of us here in the room. When you feel ready, come back to your seat, come back to your body, come back to your room. And in perfect timing, go ahead and open your eyes and return to this Zoom room. In this moment, go ahead and type in the chat anything that you're feeling or anything that came to you in that short little guided meditation. Um, I'm actually feeling like uneven for some reason. Um, not sure what that is about, but I'm feeling like pressure in my head, kind of like in the right, right side. Um, I'm also feeling a little bit excited for what we're going to cover today. So thank you for sharing your energy here with me. And I will take this moment to share a little bit about who I am and my story. Um, my name is Lizelle. I live in Hawaii and I am a divine purpose coach. I am a manifestation coach. I help people manifest their dreams from that place of alignment from who they truly are. And my background is really one that maybe a lot of you can relate to. I was a good girl for like 33 years of my life and I went to school. I did the whole school thing, undergrad, went to, uh, got a good job in mutual funds and then uh, the crash happened and I was like, I'm out. I need to find a, I need to find a way out. So I went back to school, got my master's as an occupational therapist, found out the uh, medical world was also another system, another business. And I just couldn't, I didn't feel good doing what I did with all those limitations, hence network marketing. And here I am um, as a coach, being able to bring my gifts, my spiritual gifts into this world of business in bringing spirituality and the knowledge that I have gained in my metaphysical work into, into manifesting abundance, manifesting, um, you know, freedom for you. For those of you who are here, you have a business, you own a business, or you're, you know, you're a leader or a director in some way. Um, you have influence, you have power, and it's not about this title that you have or this rank that is at the end of your name. This is about you. Okay. This is about you. You are the leader to yourself. You are the CEO of your life. And don't forget that. Everything is a choice. Everything. Everything you say, everything you think, everything you believe. Thoughts create things. And beliefs are just thoughts that are thought over and over and over again. So remember that when you think, you are creating. And when you speak it into existence, you are manifesting that. You're bringing it from the thought realm into the physical. And so for me, now V feels present in this moment. Perfect. And so as you speak your life into existence, remember that you are the powerful one. And what is momentum other than a lot of energy that's been built up to get you to this point where there is momentum? So today I want to know what you guys want to manifest momentum in. Is this your business that you want to manifest momentum in? Is this a relationship? Um, what, is, what is it about momentum that you are seeking? What are you hoping that you can manifest with this momentum? Is it abundance? Is it money? Um, is it um, knowledge? Is it, is it a project that you're working on? Go ahead and share with me what it is that you are manifesting momentum in. Because it is important that you know what you are trying to manifest. Okay. Um, I'm seeing abundance and abundance. Yes. Okay. So we're looking at abundance, prosperity, and wealth. Um, I'm guessing. Um, does anybody else want to manifest abundance? Go ahead and type in abundance. Go ahead and type in prosperity. Go ahead and type in money. Go ahead and type in wealth, whatever it is that you personally want to manifest. And together in this room, this is what we're working on. We're working on manifesting momentum in all these different areas of our life, okay? Everything is energy. Everything is connected. 
So when you can be really, really clear with what is what it is that you want to manifest, that is when the universe can begin to help you. Okay. So let's see up here. Okay, abundance, prosperity, wealth, freedom, joy, wealth, joy, nourishing relationships, peace, purpose, authentic love. Ooh, there's so much good stuff in here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So why do we want to manifest momentum in those areas of our life? Probably because we don't have what we want in it at this current moment, right? So how do we get from where we are to where we want to be? How do we do that? How do we jump from down here to up here? Well, if we ask the question, how do we do that? That gets us stuck in the head. And our head comes from the past. Our head comes from stories that have already happened, comes from limitation, okay? Um, I'm going to touch on the different dimensions right now. And if this is your first time, go ahead and take notes. And if this is not your first time um, of me reviewing this information, take this in as if it is your first time. Um, and notice how your brain and how your being is taking in this information now. So, 3D. And wait, abundance and prosperity to level to the next level. Yes. Okay. So, our minds, if we are trying to go about it with a how, how do we... How do we manifest momentum? We get stuck because we don't know how to get to the place that we've never been. Obviously, <laughs> we've never been there. So we have no, our mind has no recollection or knowledge of how to do that. So when we ask ourselves, how do we get to that next level? We're going to sit there and be like, uh, well, well, there's this thing over here that I've never done. And there's this thing over there that I've never done. And then we don't act, right? So the way to get from one place to another is to actually look at it from a different perspective. Realize that these things are actually connected. So what is that, what is that connection line? What is that common thread? What can I do here that will bring me closer to there without the gap being so big, right? How can we make the gap so much smaller? So in looking at where you're at in the current moment, let's say with abundance, um, start to get clear with how that feels in your body. How does it feel when you are abundant? How does it feel to have the abundance and the momentum in your bank account rolling forward? How does that feel? And if you can feel it in your body, okay, go ahead and feel that. Just like tap into that idea of huge amounts of money, huge amounts of energy flowing through you into the container, into the bank account, right? How does that feel? Does that feel exciting? Does that feel free? Does that feel like relief? Does that feel like yes? Or does that feel scary? Does that feel stressful? Does that feel like, like fearful, right? So get in touch with what it is that you want to manifest. That's the most important thing. A lot of people think it's think positive things and positive things will happen. No, that's one piece of like a hundred pages. The most important thing to know is that feeling is the secret. So whatever it is you want to manifest, feel into what that feels like for you when it is coming to you, okay? Is it joyful, free, exciting? Yes, with an exclamation point. Or is it, oh my God, is that really what I want? Oh my God, can I handle that? Oh my God, am I worthy of that? Oh my God, do I deserve that, right? So if it's the relationships that you're looking for, how does it feel coming in? Does it feel light and exciting or does it feel like, mm, I don't know, I've never had that before and that's scary and I don't think I deserve that because you have to really pay attention, okay? How you feel dictates the, um, the speed at which the manifestation appears in your physical reality, okay? So we're just going to stick with the example of manifesting abundance. If you're, let, let's say 100K, if you are wanting to manifest 100K and it feels like, yes, like I'm ready, this feels so good, like, like so exciting and free, then 
that, that hundred K is going to come and your job is not to know how, okay. R write this down. The how is not my job. The how is for the universe to help me with. Okay. The how is not my job. The how is for the universe to help me with. I'm going to say it again. The how is not my job. The how is for the universe to help me with, okay? Because when we are sitting there with a how, we're sitting there with a how, and we're not acting. Momentum is all about action, okay? Abundance loves action, okay? Momentum requires action. If we're sitting there, we're not taking action, okay? So know that, okay? Now, going from the 3D where we want the abundance to show up, it has to come through the 4D, which is the feeling space. 4D, it's one dimension above the physical. And we live in the physical. We have physical eyes to see the physical things, physical noses to smell physical scents. We have a physical mouth where we taste physical items. We have physical ears to hear the sounds of physical things happening in our 3D physical reality. And we have our physical hands to touch and connect with our physical realm, okay? But we are more than that. Surprise, we are more than that. We are infinite, okay? There is, there is infinite limitlessness. Infiniteness, is that a word? <laughs> there is no limit to who we truly are. However, this 3D world is telling us that we end at our skin, but we don't. So moving past that, we are a feeling being, we are an energetic being, we are an infinite being. And for us to be able to feel things, that is more than physical, okay? We can feel sad, we can feel happy, we can feel excited, we can feel elated, we can feel depressed, we can feel angry, we could feel shameful, we could feel resentful, right? We can feel all of these things and we can feel all of those things in the same day. That is not static, that is not permanent, everything is temporary, write that down, everything is temporary. Even this moment, this moment now, it's already gone, it's already two seconds after that moment, okay? Everything is temporary, everything changes, the only constant what is it change is the only constant everything is temporary change is the only constant so when we're trying to manifest momentum you have to realize that there is energy that is done before the momentum shows up and we're about to get into that so 5d is the thought realm okay thoughts become things thoughts become things by going through the feeling space through the 4d and then it manifests into the 3d that is how manifestation works when we have a um, resistance to the thing that we want, right? When we have fears, when we have anxiety, when we have um, um, ideas of like self, um, like unworthiness, like I'm not good enough or I don't deserve this or who am I to do this thing? That's resistance. You are putting blocks between what you want and where you are, okay? So if you're not feeling good, free, excited, elated, blissful about this thing that you want, if you're not feeling that here, then it's not gonna come or it's gonna come and it's gonna take way too long okay so how do we manifest momentum when the thing that we want is so far away first you have to know that that is an illusion <laughs> that this idea that what you want that this abundance that this um, relationship that this health and this wealth is so far away you have to get rid of that there's a space there's a gap if um, okay I'll just use my pens so that's all I've got if I am here with the blue pen and what I want is this purple pen and I'm like I really want that 100k or I really want that relationship or I really want that feeling of health and vitality and I want that you have to realize that you're already connected to it you just put some space between where you are and where you're at okay this gap between the pens is an illusion it's based on your belief system. It's based on your paradigm. It's based on the stories that you have in your head. It's based on what you learned from the past. This gap between the pens is not real. It's not. It's really, really not. It's an idea that maybe people around you believe and you've 
subconsciously taking it on and that's okay there's nothing wrong with it i'm just telling you what's happening so how do we get from here to there first you have to know where this is okay so where are you where are you with your health how would you how would you describe the way that you feel how would you describe your level of health and vitality in this moment how do you describe the way um the, the way that your finances are how do you how do you feel about the way your bank account currently is? How do you feel about where you are financially, big picture? How do you feel, okay? Doesn't matter where you are. You can have 10K in the bank, you can have 100K in the bank, you can have a million dollars in the bank, you can have $10 in the bank. All that matters is how you feel about what you have. Write that down. All that feels, all that matters is how you feel about what you have. I'm gonna say it again. All that matters is how you feel about what you have. I need to make that a quote on my account. Hold on, let me write that down. <laughs> All that matters is how you feel about what you have. How are you guys doing so far with what I'm going over? Um, you're feeling good? You, if, you're, if you're feeling good, um, say yes. Just type in Y-E-S. If you're feeling good, um, Perla, I love the 11, 11. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good. Okay. All that matters is how you feel about what you have. I have a blue pen. I want the purple pen. Well, do you like your blue pen? That's the first question. Are you grateful for your pen? Why is gratitude important? Because it is a vibration raiser. It is a vibration increaser. It is a vibration razor upper. <laughs> Gratitude raises your vibration in seconds. There's other ways, of course. Gratitude is the easiest one because you don't need anything other than the word I am grateful for or I am grateful of that. Okay. So are you grateful for your blue pen? Are you grateful for your $10? Are you grateful for your 100K? Are you grateful for your $10, $10 million in the bank? Or are you saying that that's not enough? $10, that is not enough. Okay? 100 k that is not enough. $10 million, that is not enough. Once the universe hears you say that, once the universe actually sees you think it, that is your affirmation. That is what you believe. And you believe so strongly about this blue pen that is not enough. The universe is like, oh, that's the vibration she's at. That means she likes that. She likes being there. So I'm going to give her more situations, more people, more um, opportunities for her to continue feeling like this is not enough. That's how the universe works. It's always listening. It's like Santa. Except it get, still gives you something even when you're bad. <laughs> gives you what you don't want because you're, that's what you're focusing on. So how do we get here from, how do we get here from there? Gratitude. I'm just going to prescribe that for you right now. If you want abundance, if you want that relationship, if you want health, be very, very grateful for what you already have. Okay. Um, I am great. I am great. I am so happy and grateful now that I already, I'm going to say that again, this is your prompt for an affirmation. This is a prompt for calling in what it is that you are already grateful for because in my calls, we are assuming that you are already grateful for the thing that you want. So here's the prompt again. I am so happy and grateful now that I already, let's say it again. I am so happy and grateful now that I already blank, have $10 million, have $10, have a beautiful relationship, am very healthy, okay? I am so happy and grateful now that I already, and by you choosing to speak these words into existence, starting with thinking them, and then eventually speaking them out. The universe has no other choice but to continue giving you 
situations, opportunities, and people who will continue to make you feel happy and grateful now that you already did the thing that you want slash have the thing that you already want, have the thing that you already have. Gratitude is a vibration raiser. So by raising the vibration around this thing you already have, you basically give the universe a green light to say, yes, I have this thing and I can handle it and I love it and I am so grateful. And guess what? The universe is like, oh, she likes that. Oh, let me give her more. I'm going to give her more money because she loves this $10. <gasps> oh, I'm going to give her more health. Oh, she loves feeling healthy. She loves, she loves that, that, that extra 10 pounds that she has. She loves that. Oh, okay. Look at how much joy. Oh, look at, oh my gosh, look at, they're like right next to each other. And then all of a sudden, what you have becomes what you want. And now it's the same thing. Because all that matters is how you feel about what you have. And now that what you have started with what you had, <laughs> does that make sense? Now that what you have started with what you had, yes. Now you have more of it. Now you've created momentum. Oh, snap. There it is. Whatever it is that you want, you have to be grateful for what you already have. Everything is energy. Our thoughts turn to beliefs. And our beliefs turn into this foundational space that we stand on and view the world from. It's called a, a paradigm or a belief system. So when you're standing on your little wall of bricks that is called your belief system or your paradigm, you call in anything that your belief system allows you to call in. If your belief system allows you to make an infinite number, an infinite amount of cash, you are going to allow yourself to receive that. However, if your belief system, which is made up of stories that everybody else around you has told you your whole life and anything that you have experienced in your life, if that is telling you that you have to work hard to make money, that you have to, um, that you have to struggle before you can succeed, if your paradigm is telling you that you have to look a certain way in order to receive love or act a certain way in order to receive love, then that's going to keep showing up. Okay. My calls are for you guys. My calls are for you to sit with yourself and reflect on your entire life and start choosing intentionally what thoughts, what beliefs, what pieces of energy do I want to bring forward with me after this call is done? What is it from all of these infinite opportunities that I have, all of these infinite, um, possible parallel lives that I can choose from, which is the one that I want to walk? Which direction is it that I want to go? Looking at your belief system from that space allows you to step out of it, okay? Because you are not your belief system, okay? Your belief system was just downloaded into you when your mom was pregnant and then between the ages of zero and seven and then again at school with all your friends and then into adulthood when you go into the real world and experience it. That's what creates and shapes your belief system. And that's what creates and shapes your current experience. Until you change that belief system, until you start including gratitude in your belief system, until you start really reflecting on what is this belief system that I have, once you can look at it, then you can start changing it. They say that um, something like, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it or something like that. Like I know a lot of people in fitness and like dieting, they look at that. Like if you're not, um, if you're not measuring something, then there's no way you can manage it. Right. Because you need to keep track of it. Right. So same thing with our belief systems. If we're not paying attention to what thoughts and what beliefs are sticking to us, then we're not going to know where our blocks are. We're not going to know what's, what's not in alignment with us. We're just taking whatever is given to us and we're calling it our own. And what our ego does is our ego hangs on to everything. It's like, yes, that's mine. Oh, yeah, that's me. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. The ego just takes everything as it is given without intention, without choosing, without awareness. It just, it's just a sponge. And so 
as we go through life and we are given opportunities where we can choose, we're like, um, well, this is how life is based on our paradigm, based on our belief system. Well, this is how life is. So which means I can only get that. That's what our belief system looks like. That's what our paradigm looks like in practice. When we see something that's possible for somebody and then we think, oh, you know what, but that's them and that's their life. And you know what, I'm different because I'm over here and I have this situation and their situation's different. So, you know, I can really only make like 60,000 a year. That's your belief system at work. That is your ego trying to keep you safe. That is your ego trying to keep you from escaping and living a different life than it has lived, okay? Your ego wants you to stay in the past because that's where it's from. Your ego wants you to stay in your head because that's where it lives. And once you start breaking those barriers, once you start manifesting momentum in a new way, you're going to feel some resistance. So just know that you have to be very intentional, again, with what it is you want to manifest, know how it makes you feel, and then use that as your anchor when you're manifesting, okay? Use your feelings, use your emotions as your anchor when you're manifesting because that is real. Energy is real. And when you can remember that when, you know, when you're making 100K a year and it's sitting in your bank, how does that feel? Exciting, free, bliss, yay, yes. You come back to that whenever the ego tries to stop you, okay? And he, how do you know when the ego is trying to stop you? It feels like you're not enough. It feels like you're not good enough. It feels like you're not smart enough. It feels like everyone can do this except me. It feels like who am I to say something? No one cares about what I have to say. It, it feels like I'm not worthy to be seen. I'm not worthy to be listened to. I am, I am nothing. That is the ego because the ego wants you to stay small. Your family wants you to stay small. Your friends from your childhood want you to stay small. Why? Because it's threatening to them. And when you start breaking out of the belief system that the ego is used to, that your family is used to, that your friends are used to, when you start breaking out, now they're the ones who are under the fire. They are the ones who everyone's looking at like, well, she did that and she's from your hometown. Like, why can't you? And that makes them uncomfortable. So the ego and everybody that you know is going to do as much as they can to make you feel bad, to make you feel not good enough so that you stay with them because you leaving is a threat to what, the, what they're capable of. Ha! Ah, I have chills everywhere. I hope I'm not scaring you guys off. <sighs> I'm going to take some water. I'm going to have you guys shake a little bit. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I kind of went all over the place and I know it. <laughs> um, I'm going to have you guys type in any of your questions so far. If I wasn't clear on anything, I want to make sure you guys get really clear um, before we start moving forward into a group exercise to manifest momentum. Um, I want to make sure you guys understand this. This is like the foundation to, to adding more energy on top. And if you're feeling good, type 1111 and then we can move forward. I just want to reconnect with you guys here and make sure that this is making sense, that this is landing, um, and that you're good to keep moving forward. Okay, wow, it's a true love 11, Maggie. When we write our affirmations, we say, I am, I will. That's, I will answer that. Okay, affirmations. So let's touch on affirmations, and then we're going to, um, Koji, you know, this is on a trillion. <laughs> okay, so we're going to talk about affirmations because this is important. This is how we speak our manifestations into existence. So affirmations are, excuse me, affirmations are really a way to affirm where we're at. And affirmations speak directly from us, from our heart, from our heart space, our feeling space to, to the beyond, to the universe. So wait, do we say I am, I will? Okay, so I am, okay, also, you need to know. <laughs> there is no time. Time is an illusion, write that down. Time is an illusion. There is no such thing as time. Um, that is a construct that is made by humans who live on this planet. 
if we were to go into a rocket ship and go into space and go into some other galaxy, like 24 hours, 365 days, doesn't make any sense, right? Because it's different. Um, time is something that is specifically for Earth. So just know that. And so when we're manifesting, there's no time, okay? So when we say an affirmation, it is always in the present moment because the universe only lives in the present. It's our mind that comes into the past and it's our mind that tries to project into the future. And our mind is full of limitations and our mind is not where we manifest. You can write that down. We do not manifest with our minds. Our mind is not where we manifest. We do not manifest with our minds. We, 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 um, whatever it was. <laughs> um, so when we say our affirmations, we say it in the present moment. It is I am. And I, if you notice in my captions, I say I am. And I always use a capital A because using a capital A for am is acknowledging your being. It's stepping into your power. You are saying I am versus, you know, I am this. Is you're standing up for I and you're standing up for am and you are claiming what you will be speaking into existence. So um, saying I will gives the power to the future, okay? I will also puts pressure on you in the past and then gives you an opportunity to fail. When you say I am, you're already doing it, okay? You're already in your power versus I will. You're like, you know, I'm going to do that. <laughs> One day I will. There's no, there's no definition. There's no clarity to it. So saying I am. The other one that you can already, uh, that you can start affirmations with is I am already or I have already because that is also in the present. You're stating what you've already done. You're stating what you're already doing. Nothing in the future is, um, is nothing in the future is guaranteed. Okay. There are infinite probable possibilities, right? So when we say I will, who knows if you really will, you could die the next second. So by allowing yourself to step in your power and say, I am, or I already am, or I already have, that's one way to already create momentum as far as looking at where you've been and then where you want to go. Um, Maggie, is that helpful? I hope that was helpful for you guys. <clears throat> okay, so, yes, very good. Okay, good. Whew, so, today we're going to use our, um, our collective energy. We're going to do some co-manifestation a little bit together here. Um, how does everyone feel about manifesting momentum with abundance today? Go ahead and type in eight if you're interested in manifesting abundance today, right now, in the next few minutes. Okay, I see some eights, 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 and eight, 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 eight,
But if you're feeling in the process of you getting detailed with the thing that you want and it feels like scary or it feels like, I don't know, or it feels like how and the how comes in, then step back on the details and get a little bit more vague. Okay. So right now it's a burlap sack that's like, like tied at the top. And that is our, our vision of, of abundance today. Okay. So how are we going to manifest momentum in manifesting that amount, that large amount of abundance into our life? First, we're going to tell ourselves like, ooh, I see it, right? So you have to know where you're at before you manifest. And right now you're at this point where you see the thing that you want to manifest. You can see it in your mind's eye. And when you, when you can see it in your mind's eye, you can hold it in your hand. If any of you guys are following uh, Mornings with Neno, that's one of his things. You can see it in your mind's eye. You can hold it in your hand, okay? And then if you can hold it in your hand, you can turn it into reality. You just have to see it over and over again. So imagine your bag of abundance right there, and it's floating right there. The fact that you already see this is proof that it already exists. And the proof that it already exists comes from the mind. Mind is from the past, right? So how do we get out of the past? we bring it into the future through our feelings. So how do you feel about this huge bag of abundance that's sitting right here? Feel excited, feel joyful, feel ready, feel, um, feel worthy, okay? You deserve this bag of abundance, you do, and it's got your name written all over it, all over it. It is branded with your name and it is yours for the taking when you're ready to receive it, okay? So taking that, that feeling of like, oh, it's right there. See how that feels, have it feel good. Know that it's yours, it's right there, it's got your name on it. It is literally like right there. So call it in, okay? Allow yourself to call in that abundance that's sitting right there. All you have to do is ask, okay? So reflect on the feeling that you feel about what you already have, because that already has your name on it. Okay. And when you are feeling that good, go ahead and when you're, when the, like how you feel, feels good, raise up your vibration, feel grateful, step into the gratitude of this bag of abundance that is already yours. Okay. Raise your vibration because we're allowing to manifest. We're allowing that thing to manifest into our 3D. Next thing that you have to do is get really clear with the asking, okay? A lot of people are, are um, not clear. So what is it that you wanna manifest? What does abundance look like for you? Is it a certain amount? Is it a certain outcome, okay? So whatever that is for you, this is your work. I'm just here to guide you through this process. Ask for it universe i am manifesting this bag of abundance you can replace that with anything that you want but universe i am manifesting this bag of abundance that is your ask and then now that we're asking for it we are now open right you're asking next that happens is we have to thank the universe Thank you, universe, for writing my name on this bag. Thank you, universe, for bringing this abundance into my life. And can you feel, just take a moment, can you feel this energy up here that's higher? It's like more peaceful, it's more flowy, because you're already in the space of receiving while you're still acting, while you're still asking for it, sorry. Okay, so raising your vibration, feeling really good, seeing your abundance right there. It's right there and it has your name on it. Asking the universe for it, thanking the universe for giving it to you, okay? Knowing that it's already yours, knowing that it's not separate from you, it's not far away, it's, it's actually right here. Like, it's like this far away, like it's right in front of you. Knowing that it's right there, how does that feel? Okay. Use your energy, use that momentum of high vibes to become the magnet that makes that abundance stick to you. Okay. This thing, if this thing makes you feel good, you have to feel good. Period. 
okay? When you feel good, you've got your momentum up, this thing, because it's on the same vibrations, on the same level, they're going to snap together. That is how law of attraction works, okay? Like attracts like. Hence, manifestation. If you're feeling stressful, bad, worried, all that stuff, like attracts like. <laughs> you're gonna attract the stuff that makes you feel bad, worried, stressful. If this makes you feel bad, worried, stressful, and you want that, and it makes you feel bad, worried, stressful, and you don't have it, the universe will give you more situations where you don't have it, okay? So energy is momentum. Everything is energy. Emotions, you can write this, too, write this down too. Emotions is energy in motion, okay? Energy in motion, emotions, e-motion. Energy in motion. So use your powers of feeling. Use your 4D. You have to use your feelings to call in what it is. And once you thank the universe, seriously thank the universe because it is already yours, because they hear you, because they always say yes, then you close that off. You close that ask by thanking the universe and by having fun. When you have fun, you keep your vibration high. If you watch um, Abraham Hicks, Esther Abraham Hicks, they have this thing that they call the 17 second rule, where our vibration can, like our vibration is powerful, right? So energy is powerful. And when we can hold a vibration for 17 seconds or longer, that's when things stick. That's when things get solidified. That is when there is a foundation of that energy. So when you can, you know, ask for the universe, ask the thing of the bag of abundance from the universe, thank the universe, and then continue to feel good. After that, do something where you're having fun, sing a song, take some pictures of, I don't know, selfies of like feeling joy, do a cartwheel, go hang out with your babies, like whatever it is that makes you feel joy, you maintain that vibration. You maintain that level, high level of emotion. And guess what? That thing is going to find you. But you have to release resistance to it. You have to release resistance to all the things, all the stories and excuses behind it in the shadows. Otherwise, it's not going to find you. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. So manifesting momentum. Thank you, Perla. Manifesting momentum is all about knowing that you are the powerful one. And when you have a thought, the thoughts after that build upon it. I know this stuff is like invisible. I have, there's like no way for me to show this right now. Although, um, okay, think of it, okay. Think of it like you're a farmer, like you're a farmer and you want abundance, right? So you're going to plant seeds of abundance everywhere in your field because you are not going to let yourself go another season without abundance. So you are going to plant and plant and plant and plant. And for you, that is raise your vibration. Tell yourself affirmations in the present moment. Tell yourself that you are worthy enough. Tell yourself that what everyone else is saying or doing or thinking about you is not applicable. And that is just a reflection of where they're at. Plant those seeds. Plant those seeds. Tell yourself that you're beautiful. Tell yourself that you're worthy. Tell yourself that you know that you're ready. Tell yourself that you know that you deserve it. Tell yourself you know that um, it is coming and that is, it is already yours, okay? The more that we can be intentional with infusing ourselves with this feeling, the more momentum we're going to create around this idea of this thing we want to manifest. If we have resistance to it, if we're not planting the right seeds, then we're planting nothing. We're not planting towards our goal. We're just planting to plant. Do you see that? So maybe the abundance is all about having food, right? So you want to plant food seeds versus like flower seeds, okay? So you have to be aware of what kind of seeds that you're planting. Am I planting seeds that are going to help me achieve my goal? Or am I just planting things because someone told me to plant things, right? So this is where you get to step up and be the powerful one. This is where you get to choose, okay? So, um, 
in these last couple of minutes, I want to ask you guys if this information was helpful for you in manifesting whatever you're looking to manifest for November. Um, we are coming up to the end of the year, so we've only got like 58, 57 days till 2021. And this is a time when it is important for you to really reflect on how has this year affected you and what do you want to create from it now moving forward, right? You are the powerful one. You are the one who gets to choose. You don't have to live in the stories of the past. You don't have to continue this trajectory of what was, and you don't have to keep believing what everybody else around you is saying. You are the powerful one. You are the one who hears your, your, your inner self. You are the one who has access to your inner guidance. Okay. So allowing yourself to raise your vibration, allowing yourself to feel good about what you want and allowing yourself, giving yourself permission to feel good about what you never felt good about is going to break those patterns is going to help you escape the belief system is going to help you cut through that old paradigm that brought you to where you're at now good thing that you're doing that because that paradigm that brought you to where you're at now is not the same paradigm that's going to help you get to where you want to go. Okay. You're going to have to um, tweak some things. Okay. Um, this is why what I do as a coach is powerful. It changes lives. It changes the past. It changes how people feel about themselves and where they are in their life. It helps people feel more powerful because you have somebody outside of you to help you pick apart and help you look at like, like when you're in the dressing room, you're trying on a new dress, like you don't just put it on and say, okay, that's good. Like, no, we go out and go to that three-way mirror and we turn around and we see how does our butt look? What does it look like when I squat down? What does it look like up here? What is it? Can I, can I go to the bathroom in this dress? Okay. We need feedback. Okay. This work can get really tough if you're by yourself. So find a community, find somebody to share your explorations with. Find a buddy, find someone to share this with because we're all connected. And when you can share where you're at, that gives the other person the opportunity to share where they're at too. And you can see just how many ways you are connected, that you are not alone, and that you deserve everything that you see in your mind's eye. It's already there. It's already coming. Now it's just time to let what's in our way fall away so that we can clear the space and allow the momentum to take us there. Okay? So I want to know like how you guys are feeling. Um, that's, that's really all that I have to share today as far as manifesting momentum. Um, I hope you can apply what you learned, not only in finances, not only in abundance, but also, you know, health relationships, um, maybe where you live, like maybe there's different projects. Just know that when you can see the end result, when you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. Okay. You are the powerful one you create with our, you create with your thoughts and then you manifest with your words. Oh, yay. Okay. Thank you, Novi, for sharing with everybody. And um, thank you. I feel like, um, yeah, like you're one of my angels. So thank you for bringing more people to the light and um, showing them that they, they don't have to continue living the same life that they have lived for so long. And Perla, you're so welcome. Thank you guys for showing up. I appreciate you all. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. Thank you for sharing your gratitude with me and the things you want to manifest. Um, remember in the future, anytime you see my calls, these calls are for you. These are calls for you to sit, to sit with yourself, to reflect on your life and see what is it that I want to choose now moving forward. Because again, you are the powerful one and there are no limits except for the limits that you put on yourself. Okay. So I love you all. Have a good night and um, I will see you on the next call. All right. Talk later. Bye. Oh, Christine. Yay, I love you guys. Okay, bye. <laughs>